This predicament I now find myself in held its origins in an idea. A simple yet extremely contagious idea. An idea that once implanted within the mind of the host proved to be quite difficult to detach. Something I know all too well. Okay, we're recording now. Date is the 2nd of March, session Naomi Williams. Now, Naomi, why do you feel you're here? Every night I experience something in my sleep. I, I move in my sleep. Could this be just a variation of sleepwalking? This is nothing like sleepwalking. This is unlike anything you've ever heard of before. So then, tell me, what exactly is your story? A few weeks into January this year, this uh, anomaly began. I've come from a normal family. I've had a normal life. I'm not crazy. Well, I don't think I am. <laughs> I remember asking everyone I came across for the date and time. All I heard that morning was 10.05, 15th January, the morning after. How could I believe them? Either way, I had to get back to my apartment. With patience, management was kind enough to let me in believing I had forgotten my keys inside. When you entered your apartment, was there anything unusual? There was something quite strange. Which was? There was nothing unusual. It was exactly the way it was when I fell asleep. Like I hadn't even moved. And this anomaly, did it continue the next day? It occurred every day thereafter, of course to my disbelief. I can only imagine the staff there developed a resentment towards me for how many times I asked them to open my own door. Having no idea what I was going through, I had to assume there was something wrong with me. Perhaps it was my sleeping habits. Test one. A glass of water is said to usually calm the mind before falling asleep. Conclusion, unsuccessful. Test two. Some people will usually wear a sleeping mask to assist them in falling asleep.
Conclusion, unsuccessful yet again. Of course, eventually I understood this wasn't going to stop. And so I prepared. I was not going to get locked outside in my pajamas again. I can't tell you how I feel standing by my bed every night, not knowing where I would end up in the morning, that feeling of uncertainty. You feel afraid? I'm not afraid. I mean, I, I used to be, but I learned to accept that. Perhaps this is who I was meant to be. I'm not afraid. I'm determined to learn everything I can about who I am. Average workplace doesn't get populated until about eight. Eventually people arrived, but it was clear to me that next time a phone would be suitable. Can we go back to the beginning? How did all this start? One of them was explaining to the other about how they would wake up in different locations every morning. His friend obviously wasn't paying any attention to his story, although I seem to believe This predicament I now find myself in held its origins in an idea, a simple yet extremely contagious idea, an idea that once implanted within the mind of the host proved to be quite difficult to detach. 